And now everything will go together perfectly just like that. Would you look at that? And look at all the little parts are moving. Oh my gosh, look at that. An actual bread ball. Bro, this is so cool. And there we go. A perfect cylinder. <laughs> it works. Interesting. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So this video, I'm going to essentially be showing you how to make black hole spheres. It's really, really cool. You set a preview. I'm also going to be showing some other tricks and just fooling around with it. It's a really simple glitch to make. Make sure to watch the whole video. You won't regret it. I show a lot of other awesome things as well, as I said. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So first, unnick a blocks and place a magnet facing up. Activate it, and now select any block. Well, it has to be a normal block. Actually, later on in this video, we'll test with some weird looking blocks, and you'll want to stick around for that, so watch the whole video. But yeah, from what I know so far, I recommend just a regular block. I'm gonna go ahead with plastic. Plastic looks best, it's the lightest, and when you paint it, it's very smooth color and texture. So, I'm gonna use that. By the way, please like and subscribe for more amazing original videos like this. You won't regret it. Thank you. Place it directly on top of the magnet like this. Uh, sometimes that might happen, so just replace it. And make sure you're not really close to it. Why is that happening? All right, there we go, got it. So I had to place one and then place another on top of it. By the way, I didn't do this, but I recommend you do. If you want every block in the black hole ball, be the same color i strongly recommend that you paint this spot you just place right here you'll see why very soon so gotta remove this one and now once you got a block in the center of it don't move it just select it with the screwdriver tool and anchor it right here now it should be anchored should it move now what you want to do select the trowel or as some people call it the clone tool because that's one of the properties and things it can do select it with it and now select the clone property of it now just move the clone to the left right off, it doesn't matter, as long as it's not in the magnet, just move it to the side, like this, and now select both of them, either by dragging your cursor, or if you're in mobile, just select both of them, and now select the clone property again, and this time do it in another direction. Now repeat this process for as many blocks as you want. I'm gonna do it, uh, wow, this guy's doing it a lot, so, you know, I'll go for that. You have to keep in mind, the more you do it, and the more blocks you dupe, the laggier it's gonna be. Like, it, it could get really, really laggy. So, keep that in mind, be mindful, and see you in a second. Oh, make sure you gotta clone every time that you move it, otherwise you're literally just gonna move it. Alright, so once you have this done, you can just paint it whatever color you want. If you want to paint it. Because, you know, if you use a stud block, every time you place it, it's a different color. So, if you do this and clone it, it'll be like a rainbow black hole sphere. So, sometimes you might not want to paint it. I'll go ahead and paint everything blue, why not? We know I'm gonna make it like random variants. It's gonna be hard to get the center ones. Gotta zoom in a bit. All right, that's good enough. So now you wanna unanchor everything and everything should bundle together like this. And now when you want everything to go together, just make everything uncollidable and everything merges together. But don't stop watching. I do a lot of weird and crazy experiments with this clutch and I show another really cool trick right after. So yeah, watch the full video. Would you look at that, it looks so sick. Oh, and by the way, huge thank you to my friend Kvaza right here. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. He found all of the tricks in this video, including this black hole sphere trick. So huge thing to him. And now everything will go together perfectly just like that. Would you look at that? And look at all the little parts of it moving. It's so incredible. One thing you can do is actually equip a potion, particularly the blue potion, the ice potion, turn on PvP mode over here in menu settings, and now throw it at the sphere. And would you look at that, voila. All right, now we're gonna try to see if we can do the black hole ball glitch using plushies or other obscurely shaped blocks. Very interested to see if it'll even work with those, but let's give it a shot and see. I think it will, and that thing will look really, really sick. Let's find out. All right, let's try it. On a girl, clumps together. Wait, after all this time, I finally have my very own Leech North Shoulder Pal right here. It's very, very cool. It's only 15 Robux. Go buy it in the top of the description below. I said only 15 Robux. But yeah, anyway, back to the video. And uncollidable. All right, it, it works, it basically works. 
What's as expected? They just come together. Let's make a bread ball. Ooh, ooh, let's try that. Uh, all right, all right. Uncollidable. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. An actual bread ball. Bro, this is so cool. Oh, so, so like. <laughs> and would you look at that? You know what? I want to try with the parachutes. Ooh, and then I want to activate all the parachutes while they're clumped together. Ooh, let's try that. All right, nothing too out of the ordinary. Some of them were duped attached to each other. That's why there's one hanging right there. And it's not a complete sphere. But yeah, now let's activate it. Ready? We got to unlink the magnet from it, of course. And now... <laughs> it works. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, ready to make everything collidable? All right, let's see if this works. You know, I'm gonna turn on nighttime for this. All right, ready? Uh, it just launched them down uh, underground and I can't see them rip. Oh wow, that looks really cool from this small glimpse that it got. Wow, it's still going, wow. Seems very cool, wish they were facing up, but you know, gravity, am I right? All right, that's about it. I'm not gonna do any more tests. You couldn't feel free to test whatever block you want. Just make sure you have enough of it because you know, you're duping. So it's going to pile up quickly. All right. So now I'm going to show you some really awesome tricks that you probably did not see before. First trick is I'm going to show you to make realistic, perfect, customizable cylinders, which kind of weren't possible before this new clone tool. I mean, you could make them before, but it was really hard to make perfect ones and customizable ones. Probably impossible actually. So yeah, let's get into it. Please make sure to use Starcode Legion by Grogs or Premium to support me. Thank you. First, make a wall about, I don't know, uh, this big. This picture work. Doesn't have to be a big wall and don't even have to use a scale tool. Just build using blocks if you want. Now, set the move setting over here to 0.2. And select the piston over here. Now, anywhere in the wall, place a piston facing up like this. And, and tilt it twice to face down by clicking T twice if you're in a computer over here and place it on top. You see, there should be a very small gap between the two gray parts of the pistons right there. Now, set the move setting to two and tilt twice again to face down. And using that little gap, you kind of want to put your cursor over there and then once it's paste exactly like this click to place or tap if you're on mobile and remove the top piston now select both of these pistons with the travel tool select the clone setting and set the scale setting to 0.5 or you don't have to set it to anything now move it up one and repeat for as long as you want the cylinder to be There we go, looks very cool. And if you want, of course, paint it. And if you want to move it down, just select it. And of course, just move it down. And you can move this if you want. Uh, big glitch on top, not a big deal. And there we go, a perfect cylinder in build -about Roblox. All right, that's the end of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for awesome original content, like I said before, and I'll see you next video. You don't wanna miss out on that, so make sure to turn on notifications on my channel as well. And also, if you want to, feel free to follow my Facebook gaming page for exclusive Omuts daily videos, a games other than just build a bow. All right, see you next video. Bye, guys.